Um, let's start. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm happy to see you all here. I'm happy that you are with us today. Let's before check the sound. Uh, do you hear me well? Please write down pluses if you hear me well. Write down pluses, please, if you hear me well, if the sound is good. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. So let's start. Let me introduce myself before. My name is Yelena. I'm a consultant of Publishing House Feminine Creation. And uh, uh, Publishing House Feminine Creation disseminates the works written by Russian scientists Grigory Grabavoy on licensed base. And today um, we are uh, we are giving the webinar, uh, which title is uh, Is it possible to learn and live forever in our present physical body during this lifetime? But before giving the webinar, I would like to answer uh, questions we received on our site uh, after our uh, first webinar. So the first question was, how much time do we need to spend to recover from diabetes? Uh, the fact is, it depends on many factors. And uh, first of uh, the factors is uh, uh, your readiness to accept the changes, your readiness to accept uh, the new knowledge and the dependence of your level of consciousness. Uh, so uh, it needs much work, many efforts. And um, I can say that we are the same students like you, and we never stop uh, learning. Uh, we have problems too, and we work on them every day. This is our everyday life. Uh, we have the results on health improvement and the results on uh, event, events harmonization. We write down them, we fix them, it's very important. And uh, then all the results are gathered and um, are published. They are published in the many volume set, many volume edition, practice of control, the way of salvation. You also can fix your results and send them to us. Your results will be published on our site, uh, on, uh, on the site of uh, the Publishing House Permanent Creation, with your permission, of course. But we don't give any guarantees that applying a particular method of control and spending a certain amount of time, um, you will be healed from certain disease. You must understand that the teachings and methods of control are not a magic wand and not a pill uh, that you can just have a drink and that's all. We provide education training course. It's important to have proper state of mind, cognitive tuning, desire to understand. It's important to work through the macro salvation, through salvation of everybody from possible global, global catastrophe, from possible global disaster. And uh, it's very important to read and to reread Grigori Grabavoy's works, uh, his lectures, uh, because uh, his knowledge, um, his knowledge is uh, multidimensional and uh, you have to work individually uh, as, as well as spread this knowledge to everybody uh, among all people because when you spread this diving knowledge among people you act as uh, saviors and uh, God the Creator always protects the saviors because he can act uh, among people only through, mm, through our hands and our legs. So when we uh, follow his will, when we follow his tasks, he protects us. He protects the seers. Uh, another question was as follows. Someone told me about a book of numbers that are concerned with 
cells and tissues that hasn't been translated in the German or English. She said it had numbers for connective tissue, sciatica, and fibromyalgia. Can you tell me which book this is and if it has been translated in the meantime and if I can get it on your site? I don't know the name of it. There is a new book by Grigori Grabavoy published in 2012, Recovery of Man's Matter by Concentration on Number Rows. Виталий, пришли, пожалуйста, ссылочку на материю. In this book, there are number rows to recover cells and tissues, including connective tissues. As for illnesses and diagnosis, there are no uh, any illnesses or diagnosis in this book. But there are number rows there to recover sciatic nerve. And sciatic nerve is connected to the illness uh, sciatica to the diagnosis, sciatica. If you start working to recover sciatic nerve through concentration on number rows, uh, another information will come to you. And not only at informational level, uh, not only the, inform the information concerning informational level, but also, for example, uh, the exercises, physical exercises you need to do to recover from this uh, diagnosis from this, from this uh, disease. Um, but before doing exercises, you have to set the aim. What for you are doing them. As for fibromyalgia, unfortunately, we found nothing in Grabauer's books. Um, uh, you can think with what it is connected uh, and look for close or near illnesses. Nevertheless, I searched in the internet and found such a definition of this illness. Fibromyalgia is characterized by the presence of many mental and physical symptoms, among which the most frequent are expressed weakness, sleep disturbance, cognitive impairment, increased sensitivity to stress, anxiety, and depression. You can start working with stress, anxiety, and depression using number series from uh, the book by Grigori Grabavoy, number series so for psychological normalization. Vitaly uh, And now let's start the webinar. I will switch off the video myself. Uh, So, uh, the only author of the teachings on salvation and harmonious development is the Russian scientist Grigori Grabavoy. The teachings of Grigori Grabavoy are registered in the Copyright Office of the Library of Congress USA, as well as legally protected by patents for inventions and trademarks. The teachings are also practically substantiated that is, they published an edition which titled Practice of Control, the Way of Salvation. This edition consists of many volumes. The results of controlling forecasts with a notarial attestation are published there. And these are the results of Grigori Gravavoy himself, as well as the results of his students, his disciples, his followers. That is, people who want to know this information they will be able to find it. For example, it is available on Amazon. Today, we continue the introductory course of education program of training, the teachings of Grigori Grabavoy on salvation and harmonious development. And today we are going to talk in particular about something that many people, scientists, philosophers, dreamed, thought, wrote in their works. This is the question of immortality, the question of possibility to live in the physical body forever, the eternal life. It is well known Russian philosophers, representatives of Russian cosmism, Nikolai Berdyaev, Konstantin Tsiolkovsky, Vladimir Vernadsky, Nikolai Fyodorov, in their scientific works, constantly refer to this subject, to this, to this theme. Let's remember at least the philosophy of the common cause, 
of Russian religious thinker and philosopher Nikolai Fyodorov. In fact, the philosophy of the common cause is a philosophical project where Nikolai Fyodorov advocated radical life extension, physical immortality, and even resurrection of the dead. Nikolai Fyodorov is one of the first philosophers who comprehended the relationship between man and space. Vladimir Vernadsky, Konstantin Tolkovsky, and Sergei Korolev honored Nikolai Fyodorov as a precursor and predictor of their discoveries. Nikolai Fyodorov wrote about the principle of orthotrophy, the ability to self-feeding, self-reproduction, developed later by Vladimir Vernadsky. A man will have access to all the heavenly spaces, all the heavenly worlds, only when he will recreate himself of the initial substances, atoms, molecules, because only then he will be able to live in all environments, to take all sorts of forms. Academician of the Russian Academy of Natural Sciences, Grigory Grabovoy, is the first who passed from words to deeds. He proposed to people logically justified and explainable by existing scientific laws the practice of man's salvation and the attainment of immortality. However, let's go step by step. One of the principles of the teachings of Grigory Prabhavoy is in the following. Born man should live forever, that is, in uh, the eternal life in his physical body. The true status of the world is in eternal life. Eternal life ensures true world stability. The desire for a stable world creates eternal life. But the collective consciousness holds a common idea that the departure of a person is a natural process. Therefore, it's necessary that today such a concept as non-dying be introduced into the collective consciousness. Grigory Grabovoy says that the knowledge of eternal life is already available here on Earth. And now we have to do everything in our power so that people stop dying. Maybe. It can be perceived as a miracle. Maybe it sounds fantastic, but let's remember this famous saying of St. Augustine. A miracle doesn't conflict with the laws of nature. A miracle conflicts with our ideas of nature's laws. In his book, Resurrection of People and the Eternal Life from Now On is Our Reality, Grigori Grabovoy explains that as follows. The fact is that we have already entered a new stage in the evolution of man and society for a long time. And if very little time ago something was considered fiction, nowadays it becomes habitual, it becomes norm. Let's reflect upon uh, how much effort and time it used to take people in all times to get let's say from Europe to America. A sailing vessel was used to go overseas. It used to take a very long time and it was very dangerous, for example, during a storm. And what about now? Today it's quite different. Today ships are totally different. They cross the ocean quite quickly. And if you need to reach America very fast, you may take the plane and be there within several hours. And notice the following. Nowadays, it's not only much faster to reach, let's say, America from Europe by sea, but safer as well. And besides, in much luxurious conditions. For the ocean liners have everything necessary. Restaurants, dancing grounds, pools, and so forth. Everything you need. Or Consider the communication problem. How long did it used to take a person from Europe 
to exchange letters with a friend of his in America. And uh, not that long ago, but let's say just in the 19th century, to send a letter and receive an answer. And what is the situation today? Today we have the internet, and to send a letter it takes a fraction of a second. Even if we think back to the time of 20 years ago, could we imagine that time that it would be become possible to talk to people who were at the other end of the world as if they were sitting right in front of us? And Scott gives us that opportunity. And 20 years ago, it was out of science fiction. The life has changed tremendously. The life conditions have changed and the life rhythm has become uh, entirely different. And that's why the old slow mechanism of cognition of the highest truth as well as the spiritual evolution by giving up the physical body, a temporal staying in a different form in subtle planes of being, gradual accumulation of the necessary information there, and then returning back again into the physical body. This unhurried way of growth doesn't match the rhythm of the modern life any longer. Thus, there is no need to give up the physical body anymore or to waste time on all these transformations, but instead remaining in this very body and utilizing special methods to learn entering higher states of consciousness and thereby ensuring one's own spiritual growth. This is the quotation from the work of Grigori Grabavoy, Resurrection of People and Eternal Life from Now On is Our Reality. That is, this introductory course, which is part of the education program of training in the teachings of the Vori Grabavoy, should be considered as a system of control and organization of such forms of collective reality, which exists forever. In order to accept this ideology, we must understand that the objective, objective physical reality which is independent on consciousness, including consciousness of God and man, doesn't exist. It is, if you want, a new scientific paradigm. Or, in other words, our consciousness perceives what exists in our consciousness as reality. It's one of the very important principles. So, once again, there is a reality dependent on collective human consciousness and the consciousness of the Creator, of God. This worldview is based on the well-known fact <clears throat> of the power of thoughts to create our material reality or of the ability of thoughts to control matter. Also, it is clear that such a worldview doesn't contradict the Christian Bible. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And God said, let's make man in our image, also our likeness. This worldview is shared by and reflected in the works of such scientists like Academician of Russian Academy of Natural Sciences, Gennady Shipov, one of the authors of the theory of torsion field, one of the founders of astronautic, astronautics, academician of the Russian Academy of Sciences, Boris Rauschenbach, academician of Russian Academy of Medicine Sciences, Vlail Kosmachev, academician of Russian Academy of Natural Sciences and of Russian Academy of Medical and Technical Sciences, Dr. Gareev and many others. So, for example, academician Gennady Shipov states, the entire dense world, the entire dense matter, originates from the vacuum. But before the vacuum comes the primary field, the field 
of consciousness. This informational field of the planet, being a part of the information field of the universe, created by the collective consciousness on the supervision of the Creator, was named an Noosphere by the greatest Russian scientist, Bernatsky. Grigory Grubavoy, in his work, Resurrection of People and Eternal Life are now on as our reality, develops this perception of the world as follows. All the objects of the surrounding world, say a table, a chair, a car, all these objects, every particle of them, each world element are built on the cumulative consciousness of all living people. And thus, if even one segment of consciousness will be changed, the process of the world transformation will begin. That is why, by the way, it's necessary to transform without destruction, but by creation on the ground of creating knowledge. Simultaneously, this control system, this system of organization of collective reality, can and should be considered as a technology aimed at preventing possible global catastrophe. Prevention of possible global catastrophe and salvation of everybody is one of the main tasks involved in the teachings on salvation and harmonious development. And when we work on our goals and objectives using the technologies of the teachings of Grigori Grabavoy, initially we always make as a goal salvation of everybody from possible global catastrophe. This is a necessary condition through which we achieve positive results. That is to say, you have to connect your private problems, issues, goals, with the aim of goal, with the aim or goal of macro salvation. This is necessary because Grigori Grabavo teaches technologies of salvation. And if you connect your goal with the salvation of everybody, then it works. Your goal is achieved. In other words, according to the law of the Creator, everyone gets what he or she needs, while at the same time saving others. Disseminating the teachings of Grigori Bravavo will allow you to quickly achieve your personal aim. You can quickly get the desired result. As in accordance with the teachings, at first, you perform the action for the salvation of everybody and only through this action do solve your own problems. Grigory Petrovich gives an example about his student that clearly manages quotations and the New York Petroleum Exchange. Absolutely, definitely. She simply found the implication of her technology in the fact that she ties the quotation to the text of universal salvation. As soon as you find this mechanism, you will be able to control any process as quick as you want. Grigory Petrovich says that the value of human body is higher than ability to destroy. And this axiom, value of human body, this thought that physical body of man has no value, introduction of such axiom into collective consciousness of people really makes human body indestructible. That is, when this thought about indestructibility of human body, about its inestimable value is impressed into collective consciousness, it turns out that if someone has an idea to press the button of nuclear power systems control to start the war, then Collective consciousness will work so that it won't happen. Something happens and it doesn't take place. Collective consciousness is a very powerful structure. As it was mentioned, our consciousness perceives what exists in our consciousness as reality. That is, if we have no some notions in our consciousness, in our mind, we may not even see them in physical reality. 
Let's remember the well-known fact that when the ships of Columbus approached the shores of America, American Indians didn't see them. They couldn't see them because they had no idea that it was possible for the whole houses floating on water. And only ripples on the water showed them that there was something unusual on the water. Let's watch a small scene from the movie. than ourselves through conditioning. So uh, a wonderful story that I believe is true is that when the Indians, the Native American Indians uh, on the Caribbean islands saw Columbus's ships approaching, they couldn't see them at all because it was so unlike anything they had ever seen before, they couldn't see it. When Columbus's armada landed in the Caribbean, none of the natives were able to see the ships even though they existed on the horizon. The reason that they never saw the ships was because they had no knowledge in their brains or no experience that clipper ships existed. So the shaman starts to notice that there's ripples out in the ocean, but he sees no ship, but he starts to wonder what's causing the effect. So every day he goes out and looks and looks and looks, and after a period of time, he's able to see the ships. And once he sees the ships, he tells everybody else that ships exist out there because everybody trusted and believed in him. They saw them also. Than ourselves through conditioning. So, once again, our consciousness perceives what exists in our consciousness as reality. So, if thought of indestructibility and inestimable value of physical body becomes perpetuated in collective consciousness, the same will be in physical reality. The next important moment while working with control technologies is such a postulate as we have to learn to act as the creator does it. That is, our action is aimed at the creation according to the level of action to act as the creator does it. As everything is created by the creator and everything created by the creator exists, then it is the task that we need to develop and act towards or according to the goal of the creator. And the goal of the creator is the eternal life and eternal development of everybody. The Creator has never died. The eternal Creator always creates everything eternal by type of uniformity of information creation. He created a man for the eternal life. But the collective consciousness holds the common idea that the departure of person is the nature of purpose. Therefore, it's necessary that today such a concept as non-dying be introduced into the collective consciousness. If such a concept as non-dying introduces into collective consciousness, then it will be in the physical reality because, as it has already mentioned today, our consciousness perceives what exists in our consciousness as reality. Now, in the era of nuclear weapons, this must be done for the salvation of mankind. Here, I would like to show you a small piece of the lecture of the Bodhi Prabhavoy, where he speaks about the need to develop the ability to live forever by every person. You will be able to read the translation in subtitles, and then we will reread re 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 this uh, abstract of uh, the lecture uh, on slide. 
системный уровень, который не зависит от обстоятельств. То есть это умение человека фактически. Вечная жизнь – это умение человека жить вечно. А умение должно чем-то подтверждаться. Да? В данном случае получается, что э, мы говорим о том, что э, человек находит это умение и даже в условиях благоприятной совершенно ситуации, это умение развивает. То есть фактически он четко должен понимать, что он создает, например, да, как саму жизнь, там, как саму структуру, там, предположим, физического тела в том числе, и понимает, что контролируемость этой системы такова, что действительно это делает он, сам человек. Как можно, не, не затрагивая систему, убедиться, что это делаете вы? Жизнь не так существует да, у человека. Существует коллективное сознание, и за счет того, что много людей начинают работать, например, по технологиям вечного развития, как следствие, естественно, человек становится все более вечным, если даже ничего не делает. А в данном случае задача стоит в том, чтобы выработать свою структуру умения. Пусть все умеют, например, но при этом нужно уметь делать самостоятельно все равно, потому что... Например, надеяться, что внешняя структура коллективного сознания выведет, ну, может быть, там первый миллиард лет она выведет, так я образно говоря, а дальше, да? То человек должен уметь э, четко понимать, что лично делает он. И вот именно четко я понимаю личностного именно аспекта действия, то есть в импульсе э, выведенный личностный аспект действия у Бога привел к тому, что э, Бог в едином импульсе стал вечным. Let's read carefully once again this situation. The Kenola is an ability of man to read the Kenola, and ability must be somehow proved. In this case, it turns out that we talk that man finds this ability, and even under the conditions of favorable situation, he or she develops this ability. That is, in fact, he or she must clearly understand that he or she creates life, structural, let's say, physical body as well, and understands that controllability of this system is so that he really does it by himself. How is it possible to make sure that you do it by yourself without involving the system? Man has life itself, and collective consciousness exists. At the expense of the fact that many people start working According to technologies of eternal development, consequently, it is natural that man becomes more and more eternal, even if he does nothing. And in this case, the task is to elaborate your own structure of ability. Let everybody be able to do it, but anyway, man must be able to do it by himself. Because, for example, one can hope that external structure of collective consciousness will help. Maybe it will help for the first billion years. And what then? That is, man must clearly understand what he personally does. You can work yourself with this quote to reflect closely what it says. But the main thought here is the fact that Tigori Grabawa gives us the tools, the knowledge, but we have to work ourselves. Every man has to work himself to achieve the eternal life. But let's return to the postulate we have to act as the Creator does it. But how to learn to act as the Creator does it? To learn to act as the Creator acts, one should ask a question to himself more frequently. How does the Creator act? And as the Creator is everywhere, you will receive knowledge at the level of your thinking. At first, unconsciously, then at the level of consciousness. And Grigori Petrovich calls it Klagnosis. That is, you always know. You know the answer. You know the solution. To tell generally about the fact how Creator acts, the Creator always acts in harmony and creationally for everybody and always creates the eternal for everybody, for eternal harmonious development of everybody. Technologies to act as the Creator acts are applied to harmonization of event-driven plan, for example, for nuclear power station security. That is, there exists a stable standard 
form of reality existence when the nuclear station doesn't explode. And this is the action of the creator too. When you act exactly this way, Igor Petrovich says, nuclear power station doesn't explode and many internal processes take place. That is, an operator presses the button of energy releasing time and it doesn't explode. And you simply act it by the harmonization of the process at the level of standard reality. And here one should understand that I put into the notion of salvation, not only salvation from probable global catastrophe, but also a personal salvation of everyone according to the number of personal tasks or salvation aimed at the level of salvation when it can be not always clear. It is the personal salvation of everyone concerning, for example, his or her personal tasks. That is, when a man overcomes a situation, harmonizes his or her relations, adequately reacts to the reality, he or she is also salvaged then, and continuously developing, that is, the next development interval of future is assured, and macro-catastrophe doesn't take place. It means that necessary control element is the provision of further development interval. As I understand it, when each of us solves his or her tasks, analyzes what this or that situation tells him or her, which qualities man shall change, which reactions shall be changed, which relations must be harmonized, and so on, then we provide the next element of development for ourselves and for everybody. And as for uh, as far as the whole world consists of interconnected structures, then changing our own connections, our own relations, perception, we act as the creator acts for harmonization and global catastrophe, global disaster doesn't take place. Because if a single structure is destroyed, then reality fully reforms or transforms. That is, it is absolutely a question of principle for the creator that there shall not be any radical destruction of any development element. That is why Grigory Petrovich Karabavoy created his teachings by such a way that he directs each development element, each piece of information to the fact that it is eternal. Grigory Petrovich Karabavoy created his teachings for everyone to have a chance to salvage and to be provided with the technologies of eternal development. From the lectures by Vigori Grabavoy on consciousness structure, we know that approximate simplified model of the mechanism of the God's creation of reality is as follows. So consciousness, physical body, and formation of all the external reality. So remember that in the soul there is information of the norm about everything, including our physical body and the outside reality as a whole. Because our soul organizes the whole reality as well as it organizes our body. That is, we need to work with our consciousness to structure it so that the information of the soul passing through consciousness forms the physical body and all the external reality without distortion. In earlier mentioned quote, Rigori Petrovich talks about it, that we should strive to such state of spirit which is able to provide such development of soul state and consciousness state, which can create reality both external and internal, including, including physical body. It means to work so that at first, at least, not to allow macro destruction. Secondly, to work to implement our own goals and tasks and to provide for the general harmonious development. Igor Petrovich used to tell in this lecture that when he, when he had made diagnostics in the plane concerning a certain process, it turned out that the plane simply didn't fall because he had made diagnostics. 
Later, the experts concluded that but for the aircraft diagnostics, it would have crashed. In my understanding, what happens when man makes diagnostics, applies control clairvoyance, when we look through the situation in advance, make controls, optimize relations, and so on, what happens this time? As I understand uh, what happens at this time, we, as if shift information, harmonize relations between the objects of information, and the situation changes. I like this dramatic example of such a picture that Grigory Petrovich draw mentally, answering the questions of the audience during this course of lectures of the initial level. What is the difference between man who thinks that a situation external world cannot be influenced anyway, and the man who develops control clairvoyance. Man was living and didn't know that environment can be influenced, and everything was happening by itself. He simply used to think that it is impossible to influence too much, and it turned out that it is possible to fully transform. And then he immediately gets into a situation that his fixed point that was holding him on that the whole world is static and everything happens by itself. And it turned out that it all must be influenced and more importantly, it will be so in the ideology in future when this role will be developed in mass development. He immediately starts understanding what should be done first. What should be done first? He used, he used to percept somehow, to think somehow. One point is thinking. If man considers that everything around him is spinning, so he as if rides in a cart. That is, when man rides in a cart, everything around him is spinning. He rides as if doing nothing, gazing, staring around, and he is as if in sleeping state. Everything around him takes place or happens without his participation. And if he does everything by himself, he must know who is in front of the cart, where he shall ride, along which routes, and who is waiting for him on the road. That is, maximum amount of optics in his perception is organized. And then, instead of riding man, he has to solve control problems. This transfer level is very important. Explanatory information is very important here. Even if man doesn't know what a cart is, he anyway uses such methods and starts controlling. That is, why preciseness of information transfer is very important. Strictly speaking, the whole teachings relies upon it. Got to know, release, transfer, convey to other person. You will enrich yourself and will enrich others. That is, it is supposed from the very beginning that attendees will further transfer this information. And in this case, preciseness of information transfer is very important. And in part of explain, explaining information too. In other words, man who is engaged in control matter takes on responsibility for everything that takes place in his world. That is, for all events happening with him, his relatives, for his health, or for everything that happens inside him and around him. And fundamentally, he bears responsibility for the whole world. What we refer to as real control is a system of understanding reality. Understanding that you really do control reality. You really have created the structures which were in the past, which could be. And you must understand clearly that as soon as you start controlling at the macro level, your controls can become precise. And today we are going to look into one of control methods through the macro system. It is the work with letters. That is, we are going to work with letters to receive a desired event. This control method was given by Igori Grabavoy on April 16, 2002, in the lecture Adaptability of Distant Control Positions at the Expense of Structure Formation 
of own consciousness. The method here lies in precise formulation of control goal. The control goal must be formulated <coughs> and kept in perception. If it is rather difficult, it can be written on the paper. Control method is that uh, that at first you should concentrate at the level of macro regulation at the upper part of letters. So the upper part of letters is the level of macro regulation. Grigori Grubauer gives an example of the simplest goal. I need to buy an ice cream. Maybe such a goal will surprise anyone as far as ice cream is not a deficit, but a very well known and affordable product. And the key point here is not in what exactly we want to buy or what exactly goal we establish, but in concentration itself. If you want to achieve anything, you must concentrate your thought very strongly and not to let it escape from your consciousness. That is, you concentrate on your goal you see this goal. In this case, you see ice cream on the shop on the shop shelf, in the nearest shop, and the shop must work. You see that kind of ice cream there, which you need. In order to buy it, you must go out, and so on. That is, for example, I am. Concentration takes place in lower part. That is, you as if pause your attention for a while, then leave as if with the help of optic beam from consciousness bent back, bent back or refract, then narrow concentration. First of all, illuminating upper part there, macro regulation, then lower part, then in. And this is how you, as if bent back, refracted this word. That is, in perception, you have curvity as in from yourself. Unique lenses, in perception optics form so you as if bent back perception boundary. Consequently, if you bend it back, you receive more beams inside, just like in standard lenses. You receive more beams inside the system itself, which organizes control growth. And respectively, all these letters must be further bent back, refracted, to buy an ice cream. Everything is just the same and only by two letters. I will try to show you on the sheet of paper. You have to bend back letters. Just a moment, I will show you myself. This paper. For example, this is paper. I need to buy ice cream or something else. You have to make like this. So from this point of view, it will be curve, curvature. You see? Or maybe I will tell, I will take only one letter, letter I. You make like this. You have to bend it back. Then this is from this from this point of view, and it becomes a sphere. And it become these uh, these letters become working as lenses. Uh, on the picture, I try to show so this arrow. For example, just a moment. Uh, this arrow. This is. Um, the beam of our consciousness, the beam of our soul. So when we uh, lighten the words, the letters, uh, we have to bend back all the letters. And we remember that um, upper part of letters, this is macro salvation. And when you have the curvature here, so from the other side, uh, there is the same. And they form the sphere like uh, the optical the convex sorry the convex lens.
Concentration must be carried out until letters in perception take the shape of skin. As soon as C is formed, it is necessary to control for it to go vertically up and all the talk in the area of our perception to transform into an ice cream. But it's possible not to do it. That is, it is possible not to follow sphere development. It is possible not to see this ice cream in perception. But then it is enough to bend back, refract these letters by means of concentration. Consequently, this control is so that you don't have to devise. You simply take and divide optics into two focuses. The first focus is a curvative from one side, and the second focus forms at the expense of gradual formation of the convex lens. In consciousness, in the world, everything is alike. Everything is singular. If you bend back something somewhere, there forms cavity on the other side, and extra strong concentration forms, which, as a uh, as a usual light, starts propagating. And that's all. And you achieve event construction of macro regulation with the help of your control simply by making concentration on letters. From my level of understanding, it is a sphere. If you make a curvature from one side on the lattice, then they form a sphere, and you have a big convex lens, which starts propagating as usual light. And it starts working by itself. But it must be illuminated from time to time, as, as far as I understand it. Universalism of this system is that you perform macro regulation because you put the sense of salvation of everyone in upper part of the letters. The notion of concentration here is simply to keep attention on upper part of letters. Here Grigory Petrovich gives an example when uh, he applied such control method in aviation. I used to transfer control in aerotechnics so that dispatcher could in time receive a signal that the plane had to be stopped. And taking into account that is, a dispatcher has rather many controlling systems and signal transfer was almost immediate, it was a passenger plane, and it is rather difficult to stop it without good reason. Nevertheless, I simply gave a note to stop the plane and made concentration on the letters by means of refracting, that is, by means of such pushing the node enters, uh, the node enters information system of dispatcher in relief. It is possible to work with documents, with situation in such a way. First of all, it influences the situation and the work with documents. And in principle, the dispatcher really stopped the plane, postponed the flight. It was necessary then, but he made it on the basis of a node, though he was not to do it, as a matter of fact. He was not to do it because, first of all, as a rule, the flights are not postponed on the basis of a node. And secondly, because the node was written not by Grigory Petrovich, but by another man, the member of engineering and the information center, who wrote this node by phone dictation of Grigory Petrovich, who carried out control concentration and then this man gave the note to the dispatcher. And the dispatcher was not to postpone this flight on the basis of the job position of this man, but he did it. Now, I can give an example from my own experience from my life when I applied this control method using letters, and it worked. I received the result I wanted. It was just recently, around a month ago, it was nearing the date of birth of my daughter. Um, she asked me, her father and her grandmother, to give her a birthday ring. Uh, she had found on the internet at the website of one of the jewelry stores two rings which she liked and offered us a choice. One ring was beyond price. The price of other was perfectly acceptable, but neither her grandmother nor I liked it. On the eve of, of her birthday, and I was going to buy the ring the next morning, the day of her birthday. So, on the eve of her birthday, in the evening, I applied this method of control. I set the following aim. 
I mean to buy a ring, the price of which will be less than a defined sum of money, I said the price we could pay, and I need everyone to like it. Then I bent back the letters, reflected them, they formed a sphere, I concentrated my attention on it for some time, and then went to sleep. In the morning, I again went to the site of a jewelry store to look at rings and uh, decide where to go. This is actually a chain of stores. They are situated in different places throughout Moscow. I wanted to know the address of the store where I would be able to buy the ring my daughter liked, but I and grandmother didn't. And I had to look for the definite size of the ring because not every store has the right size ring. I looked again at the ring, which I didn't like, and decided to click on adjust rings. Many times we watched everything that there was at suitable prices. And suddenly I noticed the ring which I really liked, and the price was exactly such one that I defined or fixed as the limit size. It was 5 rubles cheaper. I found what store had such a ring, and the desired size wrote down its nomenclature article or running code number and went there. So I come, tell the shop assistant the running code number of the ring and they tell me they haven't such a ring. I say why not? There is such a ring on your website and besides you have the size I need. They also opened their website on their computer and found it and then found it in their store too. Then they apologized for the discrepancy and I bought this ring. My daughter and everybody really liked this ring. Uh, in the end of our meeting, I would like to repeat that the most important thing is practice. You have to practice these technologies yourself. There are a lot of technologies. The main thing is to apply them. Even if you don't understand something in the technology itself, your soul will help you while working. Only learning to apply technologies, you will achieve the results. Now, I would like to read one of the results of Alison Long that she sent us. Uh, we will publish it on our site. And now, I would like to read it to you to encourage everybody for independent work. So, uh, I read the letter she wrote me, and the letter she wrote me her result, and uh, now it will be the quote of, from her letter. I wanted to tell you what happened when I used the management by phrases, structures, words, and universal power, part 3, 1, lecture 7. It was last Thursday. I was on a train with my niece to go to our home mail part. We left home early and calculated that we would have an hour to spare when we arrived in the town near Buch so we could have a coffee and enjoy the sun in the square. We got on the train for the last part of our journey, and all went well till we got to the stop before ours. The train stood in the station for a while, and the announcement said that we would leave soon. So we stayed on the train instead of getting off and taking the bus for the last part. After a while, the train started again only to stop once more in the middle of a field where we could not get off. We chatted for a while and then came another announcement saying that they had no idea when we would be moving again. My niece phoned ahead and we waited. At about 15 minutes to 12, she started getting nervous as our appointment was at 12. I finally thought that I could fix the situation and said to her, why are you getting stressed? I can do a grab away control for this. The first one that occurred to me was this one. I had read the lecture many times, but never quite understood how it should work. I thought of your process with the ring and decided to try to try it anyway, even though I still didn't know how you had done it. I decided that my soul knew so it would work. I closed my eyes and made a statement. The train will arrive in Mirbuch by 12 o'clock. As I spoke the sentence, 
it appeared before me in black type, and I sent energy from my soul to work with it. The letters turned silver white and started moving above the level of the sentence. Then I noticed that they had formed a sphere. All of the letters were on the surface of the sphere, but in random places. As soon as it happened, and that took a few seconds, that took it a few seconds, the train started to move. My knees started laughing, so I opened my eyes. She said, I knew that would happen, and uh, you would never let me forget it. We both started laughing, and the train stopped. I closed my eyes again, and the sphere was there again almost immediately. Once again, the train started moving. I opened my eyes, and we started laughing again. People, uh, people thought we were crazy. Once again, the train stopped. I decided then uh, that I would stay with the control until we got to Mirbuch and closed my eyes. The silver white sphere appeared again and this time probably because my soul wanted to show me how good she was, <laughs> the sphere got bigger and shone a beam of light ahead of it straight to the sign saying Mirbuch Osterach, the station. Um, I looked like a, it looked like a mega flashlight. I realized that it was clearing the path between where I was and the station. Once again, as soon as I closed my eyes, the train started and uh, this time kept going to Mirbuch. When we got there, it was two minutes past 12. My first thought was that if I had been better, I would have made it by 12. I then realized that the two times I stopped and we had our laughing fits were the two minutes I lost. The other thing too was that it was so obvious to me that it was not a coincidence or any form of charm because every time I closed my eyes and did the control, the train moved. There was clear evidence for me that the control was doing the job. I reread uh, the, reread the lecture the next day, and even though I understood it better after my experience, I realized that it was not done the way it was taught. Still, I knew that it was my soul's adaptation of the process, was based on my level of knowledge of the teachings, and that this would uh, also change as my knowledge of the teachings grew. I hope my experience helps and encourages others. Thank you very much, Alison. Thank, thanks very much to Alison along to share with us this experience. Please send us the results of implementing the control methods. We will publish them on our website with your permission. It will be useful, interesting, and inspiring for other people. And in the end of our meeting, I would like to make an announcement. Um, our publishing house, Permanent Creation, invite those who are willing to be trained for further teaching other people elementary knowledge according to the teachings of Kibori Grabavoy on salvation and harmonious development in your regions, in your countries. Please send applications to the website of our publishing house. And uh, today, I say you goodbye and thank you very much for your work and for your attention. See you again. Bye-bye.